Hey, this is Solid Snake, and you're listening to Droids Canada. So, pay some damn attention. This is David Faustino. Hello, this is Andrew Chalmers, the writer and doctor in Doctor Who Dark Journey. This is Dr. Steve. Uh, everybody, this is the Cavernator. This is Inspector Gadget. Hey, what's cracking, y'all? It's your boy J Rock. Good evening, folks. This is James Duval. This is Jeremy Taggart. This is Kim Possible. I'm Chris Holden Reed. Hey, this is Pat Mastriani from Degrassi. <laughs> this is the evil Dr. Bad Vibes. Again, this is Messy Bear. And this is more from X Men. Hey, this is Andrew Gazess. This is Sean Gunn. Hi, this is Robert Carradine. It's Tammy Stronach from The NeverEnding Story. Hey, it's Zach Callison. Hey, I'm DJ Jenny Rock. And I'm Neil Young. I'm Commander Shepard. Ralph Garman here. You're listening to Droids Canada. You've made an excellent choice. You have chosen wisely. Warning Listener discretion is advised. Hello. <laughs> So, <laughs> what? <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> no, obviously something, Dan. No, it's the ultrasound in the background. <laughs> there we go. You know, I've had an ultrasound done, you know. It doesn't sound like a whale. No, it doesn't, but the... <laughs> I don't hear that. <laughs> You know, someone actually complained about the background noise being too loud. That we have too much background noise? Too much. It's hard to hear me. But we always do background noise. That's what we do. I, listen, I'm just the messenger. This background noise has been perfect, though. <laughs> we literally have absolutely no reason for this. Zero. <laughs> How about eight hours of multi-dimensional lucid dream adventures? Yes. Is it better than whale calls? I, I, I'm about to find out. Oh, fade out. I have fade to fade out. That'd be professional. Of course. Professional. Everyone's like, oh, wait. Fucking ads. <laughs> professional. It's been like six minutes of this. <laughs> oh, wait. Ooh. So, see, that was, was not... Oh, sh- a- that was actual Here thunder. Uh, okay. I'm expecting more. Hold on. Oh, that's fucking. What bad. is this? Sounds of the rub and tug? Oh, what the fuck? <laughs> I, I don't know. Hold on. I don't want people to fall asleep to this shit. Yeah, that's why we have to talk in our soothing voices. Very soothing voices. Right. Satan. So, <laughs> speaking of Satan, uh, I went and seen the Quentin Tarantino Once Upon a Time in Hollywood film. So, did the movie have anything to do with Satan? I know nothing about it other than Brad Pitt and uh, Leo are buddies. Oh, uh, oh, they're buddies. Yeah. Oh, wait, wait, this could be more fun. Would they have to throw in some Tarantino bullshit? Were um, there any? Were there any foot scenes? Yes. There seriously is? There is foot scenes. Oh, fuck. Uh, like pressed up against the windshield, dirty feet. Oh. There's like a... What's that different? He's letting himself go. Who? Tarantino. That's not nice. Every Dan. movie's got a girl's Dan, foot. Dan. Something to do with a girl's foot. Listen. It wasn't Uma's foot, was it? No. She has ugly feet. <laughs> I don't know. So, Satan. Hold on. of whales and relaxing music to help you sleep deep sleep that's, inner that's, peace that's not a deep sleep voice oh no okay okay fine fine whatever this one's gonna be better uh, this is gonna be it and I swear to god we're gonna actually start working okay you call this work well for you it is I just hit it a mic hold on we're underwater we're underwater there you go 
us those little bastards. They're too smart for their own good. What is it? It's a dolphin, you tool. Oh, dolphins? All right. Do you trust them? You know they talk shit about everyone when they see them. Like cats. Yeah, well, someone tried telling me the other day that, you know, you know, the world's flat earth or whatever. I was like, really? Then how come we didn't get pushed off the edge by a cat yet? It's true. That's true. Cats Valid are point. just... Cats are dicks. Valid point. Now, if the earth is flat, like, oh. why hasn't anyone... Like, simple. Truman why hasn't Show. anyone seen the edge? We're inside Truman Show. Oh, okay. It's our dome. It was a dome. We're inside of a dome. Under the dome? Under the dome. I like Maybe that show. Maybe a biodome. What's up, Holly Shore? What's up, Holly Shore? What's up, buddy? Did he give you one of those? No, he hey, totally... buddy. Uh, he, or does he... Is he sick of that? He looks like a child star from the 80s. It's like he totally burnt is. out. I know, but you know... It's the kind of like, oh... You got the sickness. See, you were like thinking... Like Lindsay Lohan. You were thinking locally. We're thinking globally around here. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Sorry. Well, he, did, he doesn't Paul look like Shore he doesn't... was the shit in the early 90s, late 80s. Jury duty. Jury duty, yeah. Father and son... Um, son-in-law. Son-in-law, thank you. Yeah. Uh, what else? In the army now. In the army You know now. what? I also have great contempt for him, though. Why? He introduced the world to Andy Dick. Yeah, that's true. No one wanted that. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know where Andy Dick ended up. I hope he stays there. Wherever the hell, what hole he went and died in. Not a in. fan of Andy Dick. No, I don't find him funny. No, no I don't. Don't. Some people do. Don't. Don't. What was the show him. he was on? Don't care. It wasn't Spin, not Spin City. I Maybe it was Spin City. Was it with Michael J. Fox, maybe? No, no. I don't know. He was on something. Do you think his real name is Andy Dick, or he changed his name to Andy Dick? Or maybe it's like Richard Andy. I, maybe. Could be. What if you have the name Richard and you work for Cox Cable? Richard. Thanks for calling Cox Cable Reach Dick. How can I help you? <laughs> it's a lot of dicks. I know a guy who did that. R- worked for Cox Cable? His name is Richard. So he called himself Dick. Well, yeah. Ting, 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 ting. <laughs> what? What? <laughs> uh, I, I'll explain that to you later. You, you started with Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. Yeah, well, it's well, no better. So pretty much this is the retelling <laughs> of what happened when Charles Manson came into Hollywood. Okay. They changed what happened. What? The- That's what he does. If you've seen The Bastards. In Glorious Bastards? Yeah. yeah. Remember the ending? Yeah. How it's fictional? Yeah. Yeah, same thing. Okay. Um, I literally watched... So, okay, hold on. Spoiler. It's okay. I'm not going to see it. Okay, but no, I'm saying for everyone else. All right. Spoiler. This episode's called Once Upon a Time on a Whale Call. <laughs> there you go. Um, so the whole movie, they're setting the table for three sets of characters. Um, pretty much the aging cowboy, which was Leonardo DiCaprio... Which would be the aging cowboy stuntman, which would be Brad Pitt's character, who then meets a 16-year-old girl who doesn't shave her armpits because she's a fucking hippie. She was totally underage. Like, it was weird. And then you have Margot Robbie's character, who is also an actor, but then she keeps marrying different guys, whatever. And the this main part of the story is that Charles Manson shows up at this house one day, which is Margot Robbie's house, looking for a sp- person who lived there before. They said they don't live here anymore. Then he fucked off. That's pretty much really the only time you see him in this entire film. Um, during that time, you know, Leonardo Capra's trying to become a main leading man again. Doesn't work out. He has some really good funny scenes. Very good acting scenes. Like, the acting is not the problem with this. It's one of those films that you're watching go, where the fuck are we going? Like, where is this story going? And it ends up nowhere. It literally ends up nowhere. You watch Brad Pitt murder somebody... Like, murder two people. Like, straight up smash the girl's face in with a can of dog food. Like, you see her nasal cavity get shattered. Was it, was it Alpo? I don't know. It was a knockoff. Okay. And first thing, if you ever know it, are you a Tarantino fan? Uh, somewhat. You do know he doesn't like using name brand things, right? He likes to make his own brands. No. Well, he makes up his own brands. I had no idea. In this film, was the first time that I personally were that he actually used name brands. Uh, like Kraft Dinner. He actually used Kraft sell out. Dinner. Yeah. Pan Am or whatever, Anim America, whatever the fucking airliner is. I don't know. 
You get where I'm going. Anyways, so he straight up murders somebody with a fucking can of dong food. And dong food? Dog Did food. you call it dong food? It's going to be dong food. The guy that had the gun on him got killed by his pit bull. The pit bull ripped off his arm and ripped off his fucking balls. And then Brad Pitt took him outside and jumped on his fucking face and shattered his entire head. There was a third girl. She, he, she pretty much pulls a knife, he stabs him in the leg. He grabs her by the face, starts slamming her face into everything. I mean, we're talking counters. We're talking the fucking phone. We're talking about uh, anything. We watch her face literally explode every time it hits a wall. And this was Brad Pitt's character. Yeah. Why did they get Mel Gibson's character? Oh, did you know he fought Bruce Lee in one? In real life? No. He, they, it's like. Tarantino doesn't believe that Bruce Lee was a legitimate badass martial artist. So they had the scene where Bruce, Bruce Lee's there on set for some other movie. He's talking about how great he is, which he never was really like that. He was very humble. And he gets into a fight with Brad Pitt's stuntman character, which the stuntman beats him. And I'm like, bullshit. Bullshit. This is bullshit. <laughs> so, there's that. Pretty much the end of the film, the, the Charlie's Mans- Charlie Manson's hippies go to kill these people, and Brad Pitt murders them. And straight up, uh, Leonardo DiCaprio... Now, I'm pretty sure, even in self-defense, okay, he was out... Leonardo DiCaprio's out by the pool, doesn't realize that Brad Pitt's getting jumped by these three people, so he's got his headphones on, he can't hear anything, right? This chick who had her face smashed in comes screaming out of the house, falls into the pool, comes up, scares him. His response? Jumps into the shed, grabs the flamethrower, and cooks her. Yeah, that's a natural response. (laughs) And the cop's like, well, shit happens. I want to see this now. It makes no sense. It's two hours and 41 minutes of... Huh? (laughs) Of two hours and 41 minutes of... (laughs) This would be more entertaining. (laughs) I bet AJ slowly clawing out his eardrums right now. (laughs) Listening to this episode going, What the fuck am I listening to? If it makes you feel better, I do don't mind. Know. Do you mind turning up the background noise just a little bit sure. for me? Oh no! Add, add. No. Okay. That was close. That was close. That was very close. Very close. Very close. Very close. Hold on. Hold on. It's coming back. You want it louder? Yes, please. Louder. Louder. You're getting louder, Dan. Okay. What, why do we got this so loud, Dan? What's that? Why is this so loud? I'm sorry, I can't really hear you. <laughs> why do we have this so loud, Dan? I just wanted to hear more of the whale screaming. <laughs> or dolphin. What spawned this off is the fact there's like a literal thunderstorm happening outside, <laughs> and I was going to play thunderstorm, but we end up on whales. Yes. Okay, trivia time. Yes. What Star Trek movie had to do with humpback whales? That would be um, the voyage home, Star Trek Four. It would be correct, sir. Pat yourself on the back. That's right. Um, well, who spoke into a uh, mouse, thinking it was to talk to the computer? Uh, Hello, computer. Oh, obvious. It's Scotty Hello, at that computer. point. I couldn't remember if Scotty is, or Chekhov. That movie is actually the very first ever Star Trek anything I've seen. Was Star Trek Four? Oh. Mm-hmm. Did you watch the Picard trailer yet? No. <laughs> I have not watched that, nor have I even yet watched the. Um, Did you Maverick watch Top trip. Gun? Top Gun? Not yet. I've had some shit happening. I've got no Wi Fi at my house. I'm not going to go on Wi Fi. We may have no Wi You have no internet at your house? No, we do now. Why haven't. We mean you had no internet. So. I went on vacation. You a fucking heathen? Every time before I go, in, go away on vacation, something happens to an automobile. Yeah. You know this, so. Yes. So I had my tire blue yeah. a week before I left. So a tire. So, you know, how to get two new tires. Got two new tires. Yeah, whatever. Go on vacation. Come home. Internet doesn't work whatsoever. And we got a flat on the other car. So I take that in to get it checked. See if I could just get it patches and nail in it. Well, nope. There's a bubble in the sidewall. So now I got to get another two new tires. So I'm getting the internet checked out. Like, yeah, internet's not working. What's going on? So, <laughs> what's that? <laughs> That's a, it's a fucking dolphin, so, you tool bag. <laughs> so, talking to the internet provider, they, well, we're going to schedule you uh, between 7 and 9 p.m. Okay, perfect. I'll be here. 
So I was there. 6.50, I got a text message. Uh, Please confirm your appointment tomorrow for between 12 noon and 5 p.m. I'm like, well, what the fuck? So I call him up. I'm like, well, listen here. I, I You scheduled me for this time. This is the time that I've taken off of work to make sure that I'm here for this and you're trying to reschedule it. Well, you have to understand that they might need more time because they might need to do some digging. So I go, I'm going to call bullshit on that. And how about I'm going to wait and you're going to hook me up with a supervisor so I can talk with them about it. Well, they won't be able to do anything and they're on a call. So my response, well, you know what? I should be at work right now and I'm not. So I got all night. You can put me on hold for hours. I'm waiting to speak with the supervisor. So put me on hold, please. Mm-hmm. They put like me on hold. Co. What's that? Sounds like Coach Co. Nope. So Bell. they put me on Yep. So they put me on hold. Then they come back. Oh, the supervisor's still on, on hold or on another call right now. I'm like, like I said, I've got all night. Well, there's nothing we can do about switching times. I go, but you already switched to time. With me taking a night off of work. Well, I'm not taking more time off of work to, you know, can you shorten the window? No, we can't. And I go, well, why not? Their response, well, your uh, appointment's between 12 and 5, and we have appointments between 1 and 3, 3 and 5, 5 and 7, and 7 and 9. I go, so you're saying there's appointments in that 12 to 5 window, which I cannot get, so my window is bigger. Is that what you're saying? Well, that's the appointments that they get. I'm like, hey, hold on, just stop. Just stop. So, here's what I'm going to do. Tomorrow you're going to come to work and you're not going to get paid until I call you. I'm going to call you sometime between 12 and 5. However, I'm not going to call you between 1 and 3 because I'm busy. I'm not going to call you between 3 and 5 because I'm busy. But you have to be available for me between 12 and 5. That's what you're saying to me right now. So, you make zero sense. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back on hold and you're going to get your supervisor. Dun, dun, dun. Mm-hmm. So, sure enough, they come back, not a supervisor, and I'm like, Goes without saying. At this point, I'm laughing. I'm like, listen, I n- appreciate what you're doing. Only one person has tried to sell me an upgrade on something, uh-uh. so I'm going to give my three no's now. No, no, no. And what are you going to do? Because I will not be here, and you are the ones who, well, kind of lied to me saying you have to dig stuff up when we know it's not true. So... What are you going to do? I'm on hold again. Surprised didn't just didn't hang up on you. Well, I wanted to say I'm going to be recording this for quality assurance on my end. So then they come back and they say, well, will you be around at like 8, 9 a.m.? Yes, I will. Okay, we're going to have someone there around between 8 and 10. Was that so hard? By the way, I thought you said you couldn't change any appointments, but now you did. Dun, dun, and that works. Dun. that works perfectly. Did you ask your supervisor about that? I don't think so. And then they came uh, and fixed it. So I haven't had Wi-Fi. At least you didn't get charged for a tech coming out. What's that? At least you didn't get charged for a tech to come out. No, what ended up happening is a tech did come out. We, what happened was is some idiot went to their main hub where everything was, unplugged things, and left them unplugged. Yep, sounds like what Kojiko did to me. So, Well, no, because we were having issues with our internet, and I was like, this is really fucking weird. So I called them, and I'm like, I have a 40 megabyte per second plan, and I'm only th- I'm throttling at 20. Like, what the fuck's going on? Well, you know, you can always upgrade your plan to, like, the, the, the 100 megabytes per second and uh, unlimited data, and uh, do that. I'm like, yeah, is that going to fix it? Oh, yeah, for sure. I'll totally fix it. I'm like, okay, I'm like, it'll be only $5 more. I'm like, ah. Okay, Mike, and I said to her, I'm like, listen, if... This is not fixed. I am literally the worst person for you to fuck with. I don't go away. I don't give up. I will sit here and spend every waking minute of my day calling and calling <laughs> and calling. I believe it, though, too. <laughs> I'm like, so... Like, you have this fucking freaked out look right now. It's true, because you know what? I was in the customer service industry for I'm sorry for, for everything I've done wrong. <laughs> I was in the customer service industry for 17 years. I worked it for AT&T in the States. Ah, oh, it's nice. I can probably say it on there. It is the most corrupt company I've ever worked for. Shh. No, I can say I don't give a fuck. I'm not employed with them anymore. They can eat a bag of dicks. The only company ever to be like, hey, can you fix their cell phone service? But sell them on satellite TV. If you don't get the sale, we'll fire you. Regardless of how good your customer service is. Sell, sell, sell. Um, anyways, pieces of shit. Hope someone kicks them in the balls. So that's why when you're on the phone with him, you just, no, no, no. I've given you my three no's. It's not really a rule, but... No, no, no. It's not a real rule. No, no, no. It's really not a real rule. Dude, difference between you, I did the job. 
Yeah, yours is not good as mine. No, well, I'm not going to fucking flick the mic. So, ah, you fucking the peanut? I don't know what that means. Oh, don't, don't. So, just don't ask your wife. You'll be on the couch. She doesn't know what it means either. I'll guarantee it. <laughs> Anyways. You um, know us. It's true. Well, I know you. I know your wife very little, and that's probably the reason why she's kept away from me. I'm very, very standoffish. Um, off air, I'll tell you about the gent. Okay. Um, so, anyways, sure enough, I go, I, we went and did something that day. I don't remember what. We came home, did a speed test, 25 megabytes per second. I'm like, I just well, upgraded the plan. Five. So, oh my god. So I called them back, and I'm like, hey, I'm just going to speak to your supervisor, please. But, we can, but we'll help you. I'm like, listen, there's going to be yelling involved. Do you want me to yell at you? N- no. Then get your supervisor. Then get your supervisor. They're paid to take my shit. You're not. Well, they'll just hang up on you. That's fine, because I'll just go to the office of the president. What? Always threaten the office of the president. It's a real thing. They have an office of the president. Every company has an office of the president. Okay, and you can make you can get up to the office of the president. It's a very hard climb, but even mentioning it, it's kind of like a trigger. Right. I just ruined it for everyone. Every company has now been ruined. Office of the President heard. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It's hilarious. Anyways, so they get the guy on the line. I'm like, listen, I'm going to do a speed test. Blah, blah. He goes, oh, yeah, there's an issue in your area. I'm like, no, there's not. Try again. Well, there is. I'm like, no, there's not. Try again because this has been going on for months now and I'm at my bitter wits end. I'm going to cancel my service and then I'm going to sue you for damages for my business. Well, you can't do that. Watch me. My business is being throttled by poor internet service. I'm unable to upload videos. I'm unable to blah, blah, blah. Oh, bullshit. Don't care. He's like, okay, well, we'll have to send a tech out. I'm like, okay, when's that going to be worked on? Oh, two weeks from now. Tomorrow. We can't do that. I'm like, tomorrow. Hold on. Tomorrow. Yeah, tomorrow works. Perfect. What time are they going to be here at? Oh, uh, anything between the 9 and 1. Okay, so I go to work. Ellie messaged me. Yeah, he's here. He took a look at the router and didn't find anything wrong with the router. So he went and took a look at the box. He says there's definitely something wrong. He has to have to call someone for a bucket to go up the post. I'm like, okay. We'll see how that goes. So before I get home, bucket guy shows up and suddenly my internet's fixed. I've been throttled for God only knows how long. And it's been fixed. So, so then. It's not done. This is not done. Oh, oh, sorry. So then, I'm like, oh, I was good in the hood. And then my bill shows up. Before my bill, I get three letters from Kojiko. One letter saying that I'm being assessed a fee for a tech to come out. A follow-up letter letting me know that I'm being assessed a fee for a follow- for the tech to come out. And then another one saying, this is your new plan. I was like, okay. So I call Kojiko. I'm like, hey, listen. If you charge me this fee... I will lose my shit, and I will have six months free of service. I will get it. Don't you worry. I will get it. So, she's like, well, no, I do see that there's a note on the account. Like, Why is there a note on the account? There should be no reason for a note account. You should never build me to for a tech to come out to begin with for something you guys fucked up, so I don't understand why I'm paying 60 bucks for you guys fucking up. Well, you know, sometimes these things happen. Okay. When I open my bill... When, it get, when I get it, I see that $60. I'm going to call back. You're not going to be happy because I'm going to reference you by name and say that there's no charge. And then they're going to send you feedback. And then the Office of the President is going to send you feedback because I'm going to escalate to them too. Everyone's, and then everyone's going to give you Office of the shit. President. Office of the President. And then they're all going to keep escalating because I'm going to get my way. So Bill comes in. Guess what's there? $60 charge? $60 charge for tech to come out. Nice. So I called them and I told the girl point blank. She was like, I'll take care of it for you right now. Doesn't matter. It's too late. I gave you guys your chances out. So three, three months of service later, I accepted three. I thought it was being nice. <laughs> Pussy. Well, it cost them $340. <laughs> I don't care. There you go. But the point is, is that... I should never have had to make the first phone call. And that's why, you know, if you ever looked up any of my histories with any company I've ever been with, you'll see three calls. Maybe at most three calls. I think I've called Kojiko since 2007 or 8. I've called them maybe six times. I don't call them. Because I expect my bill to be right. Do you want to call them? When they fuck up. So... How long were you at the 20 when you should have been higher? 
when did I move up here? Oh, that was that long? I'm guessing. I maybe I just never checked. I know for a fact it was before Ellie moved in. It would be because I know I remember having the problem down in the basement too. Actually, because I always had issues with the uh, thing throttling all the time. So I just dealt with it. I didn't think anything of it. But now that I have five computers, okay, four computers, two phones, five Google Google Minis, God only knows what other te- two smart TVs, PlayStation Four. It's very evident when it's not working. So your brain's frying. For what you're saying. Ah. Internet. With all this G, Internet. 4G, 5G. So what do we learn from this experience? Don't fuck with a Jedi Master. Especially when he's named Cockknocker. I'm the only certified Jedi in this room. Just saying. You want to know why people call me Cockknocker? I've... No. <laughs> well, it's a funny story. <laughs> Did was you even watch that trailer? Was that from Orgasmo? No! No, that's Cock Rocket. Cock Rocket! And in your... Hand in your Star Wars card, please. Cockknocker? Yep. No. Hand it in. No. Jay and Silent Bob Strike Back. Mark Hamill made the comment. Cough it. Co- no. That's really weird how I'm doing that right now. That is really weird. It's like you're like, like. I'm kind of matching playing with balls. Right. Jiggle that's my balls. Right. Oh, oh. <laughs> people right. are gonna ask questions. You know, we know. should ra- wrap up this show. Okay. Okay. So, be- but fight. before we wrap it up, before it was something about whale calls. Once upon a whale call. Once upon a whale call. Once upon a whale call, which we talk about customer service on phones. <laughs> right. Yay. Hooray right. for us. I don't even know. Uh, I'm just, buy me time. Buy me time. Buying you some time. Buy so. me some time. I don't even know. Uh, aliens? Uh, aliens? Oh, no. What the fuck? I don't know. So, yeah, hopefully by next uh, show I will actually go and see Spider-Man. I don't believe that. Oh, I I want to. It's been busy as fuck. I still don't think he'll go. Yes, I do. I will. I think, like, the movie will be already out of the theaters by the time you realize How much longer do you think it'll be in the theaters? Maybe a month. A month? I think I'm giving that... I'm giving that a little bit too high. Well, okay then. Two weeks. Two weeks? Okay, what's this? You'll know. You'll know. Sounds like an ultrasound. Why does everything sound like an ultrasound to you? Because it sounds like ultrasound. Everything sounds like a fucking ultrasound to you. It's not an ultrasound. I might as well be an ultrasound. It's an ultrasound. Next episode, guess this noise. An ultrasound. I didn't even... I don't think I've actually ever heard the intro to this song before. I, I still don't I just don't recognize it yet. Whenever it gets there, AJ's already figured it out 30 seconds ago. How? It's just AJ knows everything. He's, he's not even here. He already knows. He's already he's already judged you for not knowing. Fuck you. He'll probably don't he probably will say he doesn't like the song, but he'll know what it is. Fucking hair bands. Really? Just showed it the devil? Yeah. Okay. Oh, fuck. Alright, go ahead. Bye bye.